teacups, what's brewing? Welcome back to the channel. I've made the entirely adult decision to start filming at 10.03 p.m. on a school night, so this is gonna be great. I am, I've got a little bit of a cough going on. I don't know if it's just me losing my voice because we're three days into school, or if the little snot bag that came into my class today who can't keep a mask on his face and likes to sneeze every three seconds has just spread something around. But the last two times I got sick, I caught it from that kid. So this is all going great. I do have, what is this, ginger and lemon tea. I was like, hang on, what did I actually get? I was gonna go for coffee, but I was like, if we're gonna do other non-adult things, let's just, um, let's stick to something less caffeinated than it could be, because <laughs> I was all here for the coffee, and then I was like, nah, nah. Have five hours sleep yesterday, five hours the night before, and about an hour and a half the night before, because I never sleep well when we transition from holiday into, into school schedule, so. Nah, no good. <laughs> but here we are. We're back. We're driving. We've got... We're jiving? What am I even saying? I don't even use that as a phrase. What are we doing? Oh, this is why it's late. It's always fun when I film these late because it's always funny when we go back to like old videos and people sometimes used to comment, oh, you're so articulate. And then I think to these moments when my words just aren't wording and I'm like, y yeah, yeah. <laughs> The later it is in the day, the, the less of that you see, you know? So um, I actually had quite a busy day, but fairly productive. <coughs> Excuse me. Aside from work, obviously. Um, I was a little bit irritated for a while because, you know, I got my new passport. My HR just said, yeah, give it to us and we'll update it on Absha, which is the, the expat. Well, it's to do with all the government service and I'm registered on there as an expat. Yeah, an expat a foreign resident. Me, me with the words. <laughs> so you get Nagama saying you're, you're here officially as, as a resident and uh, that's the portal you access. So you can just go in there and update your passport, but apparently because mine has got, it's new so it's got more than 12 months validity on it, when you go to update it, they, the system essentially goes, well you don't need to, what are you talking about? I was like, my passport was full dudes, I had to get a new one, <laughs> you know? Apparently that doesn't happen. So um, they have to go to the actual office, but because of a bit of a miscommunication with the email, which is uh, rife in my school, <laughs> miscommunications with email, you gotta salute to it. Um, it just meant that the wording made it sound like I had to do that. And now they're saying, no, bring it into the school. And I think they have to send either a driver or a staff member to do it because According to my neighbor who does the uh, dependency stuff for her daughter and her husband, her husband has to go when they do that because uh, only men can go to the passport office. <laughs> like, cheers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like most of the time they, they, because there's been so much positive change with um, a lot of the stuff in terms of limitations on female life that directly correlates with me. I sometimes get surprised when I'm like, oh, okay. So someone's going to the passport office for me. There we go. Uh, the employ my employers have to do it though because they sponsored me. So essentially I'm their dependent here. So they have to update it. I can't do it personally. Now, luckily I was watching some of her live streams and they're kind of blending into each other right now, to be honest. But I was having trouble because there were a couple of points I wanted to pick out and say something about but it just didn't quite seem worth a video and it seemed like a, what's that phrase? A poor opportunity cost, I suppose. Like when you look at the time you put into it versus what you get out of it. For the one or two points, the time it would take to edit down the streams just didn't seem worth it. But then I turned on uh, YouTube and Barbecue Chicken had come through and I did see that Just Saying uploaded uh, the lasagna live but I haven't had a chance to watch it yet uh, through her, so I'm not sure how long her cut down is. But Barbecue Chicken did quite a short one. It's only about 12 minutes, and I'm only really looking at the Chantelle parts because it also had uh, Nada's, I don't know, what was it? Steak and potato vomit, whatever it was. Um, that on the end, I'll be looking at it very, very briefly for a conversation point, but we're not going to watch the majority of it because he gives me a big old case of the ick and I don't want him on my screen any longer than he has to be. So we're just going to get into this 
And um, she's taken just clips from various recent live streams. So there's a weird quality to the sound in this. I am not oh. as rich as you thought, or as I thought. So I'm not sending anyone money. If anyone wants to send me money, the cheek of her if anyone wants to send me money although i did i shouldn't laugh is maybe a strong word but i was like oh when she was like i don't have as much money as you thought or rather as i thought and i was like oh well those two things seem different and interesting to be phrased that way was it last month that she only got paid for essentially a couple of weeks because of the shutdown of her channel and stuff that paychecks come through right I am losing sense of the timeline, so I'm not sure if I'm counting that right. Remember when in the Cuba raid she was going off and like, ah, I've tripled my income, ha ha ha. You must be so angry, you must be so angry. All of that, all of that. Um, I think she's had a nasty shock and either she spent through the money too fast because she admits herself, she's very poor financial planning. Um, or it just wasn't as high as she was anticipating in either way. Seems like with the combination of, I'm sure I heard her said she got like value groceries in the lasagna thing. And uh, and this, I, th I think she's actually legitimately hurting for money right now. I know Florida Kilos, 200 people, nobody likes me anymore. I'll still do lives, Tiff, but I'm- Sorry, I was just gonna say, her live counts have been down. And her view counts in general, and I suppose everything's live these days, but, uh, with the money issue becoming more of a pressing one, it's interesting how her attitude is suddenly, oh yeah, I should also do pre-recorded content. I'm feeling the itch to do it. I'm like, are you really? Also gonna probably do recorded Sure, stuff. that's not just bed bugs. Oh, this. Okay, that little clip, that would have been kind of stupid, but could have got a laugh, except it completely didn't match up with her movement. So I'm like, dude, if you're gonna edit it, come on now. I don't really think about money. I just think of like stuff I want. I'm like, do I have money for it? And sometimes I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I need money. And then I- Can you imagine that? With how much she earns, even if she's had a bit of a nasty shock recently, like with how much she earns just being like, oh God, oh God. She seriously must just never look at the bills, never look at the balance, do everything she can to avoid it. And then she suddenly gets surprised when something either doesn't go through or will use up much more than she has left. You know, you know how it is, you know? And um, it's such a stressful way to live. It's such a stressful way to live. And I can't believe with how much she earns and has earned that she finds herself in that situation. Just don't even budge. I don't even factor into shit like coffee every day. Paneer, Uber Eats, the weed, edibles. That's pretty much her whole life. Hang on, coffee every day, which she gets multiple coffees a day. Oh, are we gonna be this bitch and start writing this down? <laughs> no, no, we will resist. Although I do like a good count at the end of the day. Remember when this channel used to be about food and I used to actually do the counts? <coughs> there we go. Um, I'll, I'll estimate. So coffee every day, she buys multiple coffees. And uh, so if we were generous and just said, okay, $10, $12 a day, and she does it most days. So right there, you're talking, what, $300 minimum, <laughs> you know? So, okay, let's be generous and say maybe she doesn't get two every single day, but $250, let's say. So then we go to Uber Eats, which at a rough estimate from long before now, she said $3,000 a month, didn't she at one point? I'm sure she said at one point about $3,000 a month. So, and then you add the weed, which I don't know how much those wheelchairs are. I'm sure at some point I looked it up and I cannot remember it. But I also can't really remember the last time we didn't see her under the influence of something. She smokes and she does edibles and it's an expensive habit. We have done tally ups of her hauls before, but how quickly she's going through that since she lost her channel. She has shown herself smoking um, since and, and are doing edibles since, but she's been a little bit more careful about the hauls and things, even while she goes, oh, it's legal, just because she's just trying to do that a bit more. 
So, like, that's a big old chunk of change as well, you know? Are you telling me she seriously comes into life and goes, I need to pay rent and these bills? And, and that's, that's it. And I'm assuming quite a big credit card, um, not interest, minimum payment. Because all interest as well, because it'll get added on. Because a couple of times during the official NADA era, she was saying how she was quite close to the limit of her credit card. So whatever that payment is, it's probably quite large, even though she hasn't got very good credit history. Like her, her limit probably won't be that high, but the interest will be terrible because cards for people who have a bad financial history always are. And uh, like that's so much for income she doesn't even think about. A budget is a basic thing. I know she hates sticking to anything, but at least if you're not going to budget, do a spending tracker so you can see what you're spending, you know? Well, I'm just helping him out right now. Like whenever he helps me out a lot too. Like I know a lot of people say like Pete's like, that's why it's like really, it's a personal thing at finances because like, yeah, like I kind of owe Pete's like he's given me a lot of money and I like put us into debt when we were a couple. Oh, I spent a lot of fucking money. I would be like, he got like, credit cards for us and stuff and I like fucking just blew a lot of money. I was so fucking bad with money. What a horrible thing to do. Especially if if he's getting credit cards. They were never married, yeah? And um if he was getting credit cards, he was applying for those. They would have been in his name. Because they couldn't have got a joint card, I don't think. So he would get it and she'd just blow it. And this was back when she didn't have the income to cover it. Even though she doesn't cover her stuff now, she just puts it on the card, she figures the income's always coming in. But like, this was before she kind of hit the YouTube jackpot. So she'd just run it up when they were both working. I mean, she does say that, as I said, that was both working for less. She does say that she earned a good amount at the medical place. But I think she was with Bibi at that time. I think Pete's was before and they were both working at like the call centre or something, weren't they? So that, that's a really shitty thing to do. I mean, it's not a surprise. She's done a number of shitty things to Pete's and here we are. But, hmm. If there's anything I regret in life, it's just being so bad with finances. And well, you actually, can change I, that. I'm actually very honest and open with you guys in a lot of ways. But also not in a lot of ways. And that's really the point, isn't it? <laughs> Because she, she does say like, oh no, I, I do this while, you know, just pushing pushing the other thing she doesn't do. Kind of behind the chair and be like, no, 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 don't look behind the curtain. No, 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 look, I do these things. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot for a second I wasn't watching my own cut down and Abel and Bree terrified me. <laughs> Are you saying you're with Nader or you gonna... I didn't mean I'm with him now, because I'm not with him now. Uh rather suspicious gaps in your recording times notwithstanding nada does seem to have suddenly come out with recorded content that coincides with you spending chunks of time there just like you used to do when you said you were there just as friends and you were filming for him you remember that and now that that he's getting pre-recorded content it's in like the font you tend to favor the shitty music you put in the back. Like, the, there are certain tonal similarities in the editing as the editing you used to do for him, quite, quite coincidentally. So, but but definitely not you, right? Not not you? No? Okay. She said this in a live stream where she was clean and eating lasagna, I believe. Barbecue chicken always sounds so much younger than I expect. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why I expect her voice to be older. No shade to her. She's love. She seems lovely. I don't. I don't know her like that. But I'm always like, oh, sweetheart. <laughs> I didn't edit it because uh, it was like nothing was interesting except this uh, clip that I'm gonna put in here. And this is why I chose her cut down because I came to the same conclusion. I was like, it's not worth the time cutting this down to do things. <laughs> They don't like the um with matter. Some people don't. When I was with him. So as you can see from the super chat, they set her up to say it, and then she realized she'd fallen into the trap and it was too late, so she rolled her eyes and tried to to play it off as oh, I can't believe just that. When I was with him. 
but she kind of not really but kind of admitted outright that it was seemed to be a present tense thing you know and again we've been new we've been new and she does talk a little bit more in a tone that sounds very current um in a bit what would you guys do if i ever got back with him anyways i'm just curious See, she chooses laugh, I choose vomit, but, you know, both sides of, different sides of the same coin, I suppose. <laughs> Not really, I'm just way too smart. Like, what if, like, one day I was like, hey, okay, just trying to give it another go. <laughs> Rehearsing, I see, lol. I was gonna say one day as in yesterday, because it seems like you have already. <laughs> One day, way in the future, you'd be an idiot. I just, she's going to keep talking about this, so we'll, we'll go, we'll go point by point, but they're already together in the, oh, I can't talk about it, but I'm keeping exactly the same pattern of behaviour as I did when I was with him before, and I came back from a mystery silence online talking, saying that, oh, you know, the men I date, the, the men you date, the men you date, other than him, the men you date, the men I date don't want to be talked about online, like, that's ever stopped her, every relationship, both real and fictional, she's ever had, has been on this channel, so she's saying, like, you know, oh, no, we can't, uh, we, we don't want to talk about it, and I have a right to privacy, it's not secrets if it's privacy, you, you can definitely want to keep secrets private because you've been telling us you're going to be in all sorts of trouble if you're uh, caught together. And yet here we are. And yet here we are. I hate that term. We've decided to give it another go. Phoebe, look, I did the back and forth thing for six years before, so I get it. But I really think if you drop matter, you can still get your channel back up. But hey, only her. So you really think like my channel success is dependent on whether or not it would matter? I really think your channel success is dependent on how you treat your audience. And that is really tied up with Nada. Because if Nada is an ongoing feature, as he seems to be, then that means the way you behave with your audience is a way we don't appreciate. And she's just going to keep on straight up lying. And then expecting when it's found out in an official way, because it's always found out. She can't keep a secret to save her life. So when it comes out in a way she can't deny any longer, then she rages, then she says no, she's still on this uh, why you guys mad at me sort of kick for Cuba rage and beyond. It doesn't bring out the best of her. The best thing she could ever do is just cut the lives out of her channel, go back to pre-recorded content and leave it be. But she won't do that. And even if she did do pre-recorded, I think she's past the point where she can set the bar as low as she did. Because she doesn't want to mukbang officially, even though she eats on camera all the time. She could just call it a mukbang and call it a day. But I feel like she's past that part of her channel. I'm not sure if she could just go back because I don't think she has not the perseverance. What am I trying to say? There's a better word for that, but there's no coffee, so I can't get it out of my brain. <laughs> But she doesn't have the uh, commitment, I suppose, to keep everything off channel in a way she would she would need to. But the quality of her pre-recorded content would have to be better. She talks about honesty versus privacy versus not being honest, you know, all of that. And she needs some kind of credibility with someone. And she doesn't have any with anyone right now. And that's why she's seen people go, because... She set the drama bar so high with Nada, getting back to just any kind of normality is well, was always going to be hard because she leads a pretty boring life, but also she lies every other second and that at some point, without the drama to sustain it in, in that kind of way, and the drama is a diminishing return anyway, you just, you can't continue with it because people get bored and they drift away and that's what's happening with her right now. Now, there are a couple of things she could do, but she wouldn't find them easy. And her personality just isn't this, so it would be really, like she'd actually have to enact the changes that doing this would cause 
or, or would show. She couldn't just fake it in that influencer. They're calling it low BMI voice now, which, <laughs> oh. But yeah, that kind of influencer voice. She comes in, oh guys, hi, I'm doing this today. You know, I've brought my tea, I've got the, that kind of thing, you know? So I think if she wanted content that was not connected to any of this, but something people would watch, I actually think the finance arc, and maybe it's just me because I'm interested in numbers, but the finance arc will probably be the next one if you could trust her to be honest. Legitimately, go to a tax person, take us, not physically with you, because you haven't asked her permission, of course, <laughs> but go through the tax arc with us. Say what you have to do and what you're doing. Go through some kind of betterment program that isn't diet. Because diet she can't stick to. She just can't. Not maybe one day if she's ready, but I don't think she will be. But something that is pressing and could actually change her life for the better. And people, no matter how horrible people are, some, there's always an audience for a success story to an extent. And if she could really just, like I say, she's, she regrets it, you can change how you behave financially. She's not great at behavior modification, but there we go. Do the finance arc and bring everyone with you. And you'll at least get some views. And if you do that, because the government's gonna come in and make her do it eventually anyway, if she could actually sustain that change, people might go along with her because at least she's doing something, you know? Don't get me wrong, this is all pie in the sky. I don't think anything <laughs> like that would happen. But I can't think of any other content based on the kind of stuff she does. I can't think of anything else that might cause interest, you know? Thinking of other talking points that she's had, there haven't been that many. Of course. If it's the line, that's what, that's what I'm saying. If I was just honest in the future and like, in no, I'm future. not saying I have been lying, but I'm saying like, you know. Uh, you are saying that, you just didn't mean to say it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Get out of that one. Oh, nobody posts about me anymore in Kimmy Farms? Wow. I have no idea, I don't go there I guess anymore. I'm more irrelevant now. I mean, I, she likes to joke, but her channel views are down, man. So life is your content. Some of my personal life, yes. Some of it, not all of it. Historically, it's been all of it. Jeez. Is that why you hate you literally, like, are, like, vehemently pissed off at me, like... Guys, guys. Vehemently? Is that Canadian or is that Chantelian? Vehemently. I say vehemently. Is it me that's wrong? You fucking bitch kind of thing. For that reason. She's still lost. I Is that why you hate me so much? That's so unreasonable. For that reason? Still filters everything everyone says, decides what to discard because it's not going to be of use to her, and then just, just plays the victim. Is that why you hate me? Pretty genius mini video of you and Dudu. Oh, pretty genius has a video of me and a video of me and Dee. Don't know what any of that's what? about. What really? What I'm gonna do pre-recorded? I'm going to stop picking your nose. Why? I mean, I just feel like fucking hanging out. Why does it have to be a big drama? Why does it have to be a big deal? I just want to come on here and hang out and be high. Like, who cares how many people are here? You're gonna care when no one's paying you. That's that's your source of income. My bigger question would be, why don't you care, other than the fact that you're being a bit of a brat about it? That's a lot of Chantal on my stream. Um, I don't know what she's, she's showing with this back. What am I missing here? Obviously, it's important enough to, to be zoomed in on, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the quality of the video copy I have. I, I don't know what the relevance of this is. Sorry. Why is it a big deal? You know what the content is by now? Why do you come here just to bitch about it? This attitude. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. If you don't like it, fucking leave. Yeah, fucking I just... leave. No, fucking leave. Fucking leave. Because as she's sitting there going, oh, I didn't get a lot of money. You should, you should send some to me. And oh, I had to get value groceries. I was quite proud of myself. You know, yeah, no, 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 no. You can tell us to go fuck ourselves all the way to the tax office. Let's see how this goes. Because I think you're going to break first. But we'll see. I just want to be exactly you know what I want to do I want to sit here like a fucking zombie and just laugh at you guys and 
Walk with you guys. Mm-mm. I thought those are two different things now, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, like, let's just be fat and stone. Like, what's the big deal? Why are people so fucking, like, uh, what do you want me to do? Jumping jacks and go hiking at, like, 1021? I mean. Cuckoo Mom, Charlie Goldberry, I'm learning today, watch. <sighs> I don't like your dog, get out of here. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> Why are you coming? And your little dog, too. <laughs> I honestly feel attacked. Like, I don't know why people are coming for me. Like, am I mean to people on a day? Yes. Wait, racist? I don't get it. Yes. You're mean, dishonest, and unlikable. Why do people fucking... I don't understand. Well, the fact that you not don't understand, but willfully refuse to understand is very much part of the problem. Why do you always attack people's pets? Not always. I just don't like Puka Mom's dog. You have a problem with that? Yeah, what if you got a problem with it, get out. You don't even want to talk about Natter. You just always complain every time I want to talk. Every time I talk about Natter. Because you're clearly lying about not seeing him. Keep him off channel. We've spent, what, weeks now talking about how you can't talk about him? You'd think it would involve less talk, but here we are. You complain. And now that I'm not talking about Natter, you complain. You complain that you're lying. Some men I'm seeing don't want to, not, don't want me to talk about our time together. I thought you were legally incapable. Have you not had a call yet about this? This is a lovely freeze frame. I've done her nicely. Ow. <laughs> oh my god. I used to have a hump out, so. Ugh. I used to have a hump out of Al's face, so maybe. <sighs> Chantal, I have fond childhood memories of Al. Stop fucking this up for me. Oh. And you too, barbecue chicken. That's an image that's not going anywhere. I'm beyond understanding how people come back here every single time to complain about my non-tent. Like, I will literally title this Just Beezing. Yeah, and while we're on that subject, could you be a little bit more inventive with the titles? Just because it's hard to follow, they're all some variation of bees and fuck you. And I just, just a little bit so we can keep in track, please. You know what you expect, what the fuck? Look at my eyelashes, I look like a huge bug. They are a bit extreme. Oh my god, it looks like that thing from uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Hey, I do have something really cool. I cannot okay. be strangled. It's true, nobody can put their fingers around my neck. Even now I try once. Like I told them to, like out of a simulation. And... No, no, no. No, 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 and we're not going on. What? Just casually drop that in. No, 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 I told him to. Excuse me? I got... got so many elements of that in my brain that I don't want to be there right now. Please don't share these things with us. But as you share them, as you share them, and I just bleach my brain, when you say you keep certain boyfriend people you're dating, the imaginary storyline you've got going on that you keep reaching back to. How is Mo from Montreal, by the way? Then just, you expect us to believe that you would keep it offline when a guy you are legally obliged to not talk about, you can't shut up about. Especially when they come near me, all I have to do is go, <laughs> you cannot strangle me if I go like this. Try it, you won't be able to get in. I'm not using a little bit of my voice. Hey, everyone thumbs up, okay? Is that nope, 57? absolutely not. There's 800 people watching. Yep, that, that's that's about about where you are now, isn't it? I, I do, actually, I wouldn't mind going to Morocco. If I, want to go, I would rather go to, if I had to choose, I would go to Egypt first. If you had to, if you absolutely had to, definitely not, you know, dreaming of trips with certain people. Frankenstein. <laughs> I'm not sure how, like, I just don't understand how my relationship with him would be dependent on my viewership. Like, what if I, like... Your relationship isn't dependent on your viewership. Your viewership is dependent on how badly you fuck with everybody during the relationship. Because we don't like him. We don't like him. That's simple. What if I, like, married him and, but, like, then, like... Oh, jeez. Kept Christ. our relationship offline and but banged up the best content ever. Let me just simplify this whole little merry-go-round you've gone on in your head. 
No. So like, how would that even make a difference? You know how it would make a difference. A lot of my frustrations with him came from like really not understanding him in a lot of ways. Oh, so you, you didn't understand him smacking you around and you, you seem to understand him when you reported him to the police for SA, but were you just confused? You just needed to get to know him better. And that's like not understanding each other in general. So I'm really trying to... Uh, him mistaking you for a punching bag. It's very difficult. Yeah, like learn different, like, you know what I mean? I don't know, what were they talking about? <laughs> and he's like, what? She's done this quite recently as well. She keeps sliding into things that she's not meant to say and she knows will go down like a lead balloon and then just going, oh, what was I talking about? I forgot. Now, she's done this throughout the history of her channel. Whenever she gets somewhere, she's like, oh, I'll just pretend to forget. But it's been some really obvious, sudden, fake changes. And I'm like, oof. But no, no, no. You're, you're keeping an entire, completely separate, completely different relationship secret off stream. I can't start a conversation when I'm in this mindset. I'm too tired. And it's just, I get the feeling from Dee that she's just very supportive of him, you know? You get the feeling from Dee Dee she's just very supportive of him. What, in the conversations you've had very recently? Is, is that where you got that idea? And as you're having these conversations with her recently, because clearly you're not in contact at all, is, is that where the idea that maybe if, if you're going to have Nada, you're going to have to do this as a, as a threesome because Dee Dee doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Not that you're involved or in contact with them at all, but the, the conversation sounds a little recent. I don't know, he makes me laugh. He I makes think. you laugh? Makes you or made you? He makes me laugh and he feeds oh, me. Oh, makes. Laugh. Okay, just checking. When it's good, it's really good. If I could tell you how fun Toronto was. How long ago was Toronto? Fairly long, yeah. It was the only week they were actually a couple officially. You know, when she was buying herself engagement rings and thinking of moving into deserted woods with him? That, around that time, yeah? Did you see my vlog? It was so fun. The zoo. Why well, that for you? Why are you still saying this? Because it irritates you and you were stupid enough to put online that it irritated you. You're going to be hearing that the rest of your life. Do I look like Jesus right now? We have. We're not going to watch all of this other than just him proving yet again what a terrible cookie is. But I'm just going to let it play for a second so you can see the editing. Because, because there's a certain feel to it that might feel familiar. Beef steak. That I'm about to ruin. With onion and we will make also a scalloped potato. We'll have two potatoes, some vermicelli. And no thick enough for the sauce, which becomes obvious later. And a few cloves of garlic. <laughs> That's enough of that. But I think that's actually as much as we see on here. I think the rest of it is just him. Yeah, just click through. Okay. So that's what we've got. But I just wanted you to see a little bit of the editing to show that, you know, very much her style. There was also somebody uploaded a really brief clip. I'm so sorry. I can't remember the name of, of the person who did it at the moment. Uh, if, if you're watching, there's no reason you would be, but if you're watching, I do apologize. Feel free to comment down below and let people know. The person filming him says a word like go or now or something, and he immediately goes to talk over that person. And the, the assumption is it's Chantel. It's quite hard to hear because it's a very, very short time frame, and there doesn't seem to be any way to isolate the audio, but I mean, there's lots of other signs that she's there, including mysterious absences that she doesn't want to talk about. So I think we all know what's going on, but there we go. That's all of it added up. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you're all doing okay. And the, I just, I really wish either we would get to the court arc and let the fireworks go off and just hear it all instead of having this stupid back and forth. Or they would just... Either forget about it or completely show it. 
I'm sick, I'm sick of the back and forth. I'm sick of the, no, I'm not talking about it, but let me talk about how I'm not talking about it for the next 20 minutes. I'm, I'm very sick of that whole arc. And I either want it to finish, get the full story and be done, or have it never referred to again. But uh, she seems to be a little bit shaken on the money front. And that's not even counting the tax stuff, because she still hasn't taken care of that. But it's always interesting when she feels a little under pressure, because we start seeing a lot. And maybe that'll make the content more interesting, who knows. So I will let you go, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.